Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyel Kuzar and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and More. So I had a busy weekend this past weekend. I decorated for a baby shower, so we did a winter wonderland theme, which I was super excited about because I normally only do winter wonderland themes in the winter. So I thought it was super creative that my client wanted to do a winter wonderland theme in the summer, right? So I had that, and then I also had a wedding to decorate. I was able to record both of the setups for you guys. So in this video, we're gonna focus on the Winter Wonderland baby shower. And then in my next video, you're gonna see how the wedding turned out, all right? So I'm gonna show you the setup and then make sure you stay tuned to the end so I can go over how I created the sign and then some lessons learned, all right? So let's get started.
guys, so that was the baby shower. It was so much work. When I tell you, I was praying before that event because there was so much that needed to be done. I was praying that we were able to finish everything on time. And as a matter of fact, someone had left that as a comment on one of my videos. They reminded me to pray before my events because anything can go wrong, right? So we want the Lord's intervention so he could send his angels down to help us. So I am so grateful whoever left that comment on my video definitely bless me because I make sure that I pray pray before my events now. But anyway, yes, I was so overwhelmed. And to be honest, I had a lot of anxiety when it came to that event because there was just so much to do. I had to decorate the inside of the venue and the outside of the venue. So it was a lot for me to do. And that's the reason why I asked my mom to help. And then I also asked another one of my friends to come and help me because I knew that that was too much for me to do by myself. If I tried to decorate that event myself, it would have probably taken me the whole day. <laughs> the event would have been over and I would have been still in there trying to finish up my decorations, okay? So let that be a lesson to you guys. Please don't bite off more than you can chew. I know when it comes to these events, you know, we want them to look beautiful and we wanna go all out for them, but you're only one person and you could only do but so much. So please make sure that you're evaluating if you need to hire people in order to finish the decorations on time because all of your decorations represent your business. So you wanna make sure that you're showing off the best at all times. And that's what I had to keep in mind with this event. My decorations represent my business and my brand. So if I take on more than I can handle and the decorations end up coming out a hot mess because I didn't hire people to help me, then clients may leave me a bad review, right? I may not get the referrals and then that's gonna affect my business. So you always wanna make sure that you're realistic with what you're able to decorate and what you're able to do. And please, please, please make sure you're hiring people to help you if you need it. All right, so those are my two lessons learned for you guys, is to make sure that you're praying before your events. Invite God to come in and help you when it comes to decorating your events so that everything runs smoothly. And then also make sure that you're hiring people. If you need help, please don't bite off more than you can chew. All right, so let's talk about the entryway sign because I've gotten a couple of questions on that and I wanna help you guys create your signs. So what I do is I go on Etsy. I don't have a particular vendor that I use for all of my signs, but I just go on Etsy and based on the theme, I'll look for a welcome sign template, okay? So for this one, it was a winter wonderland theme. So I just went on to Etsy and typed in winter wonderland welcome sign. And then I just searched through all of their winter wonderland signs. Now what I do is I send a couple to the client and I ask them to pick, you know, which ones that they want. Once we pick a template, then I'll go on to Etsy and I'll purchase it. So I always print out my signs in a 20 by 30. So what you wanna do is make sure you go to the description of the sign and see what sizes it's available. Now, you could always reach out to the vendor on Etsy and ask them if they can make a template for you in a 20 by 30, okay? Just make sure that whatever size that you're looking to print it out in, that they list that in the description, okay? Because some of these templates are only available in certain sizes. So I just purchase the sign, I tell them what I want printed on the sign, so I personalize it, and then they email me the template. Once you get that template, once they email it to you, then you can take that and go to Walmart, or you can go to Walgreens and just have it printed out, okay? They'll print it out in that poster paper, and then I always just glue it to a foam board. And you can get a foam board from Dollar Tree. Now, when you're gluing your poster to your foam board, you could use hot glue, or you could use this. So hopefully you guys can see this, okay? So you can get this off of Amazon and I'll be sure I put a link in the description for you or you can go to Michael's and get this. 
if they have a coupon. So if Michaels has a coupon, it may be cheaper <laughs> to get this from Michaels. I'm gonna be doing a sign for my nephew's birthday in a couple of weeks. So I'll make sure that if you need me to, I'll walk you through the process of how I put it together, all right? I'll put the links to all the materials that I use in the description of this video. If you guys have any questions, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.